LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, Question 14. Water flows at a constant rate into a large tank. The tank is a cuboid with all sides of negligible thickness. The base of the tank measures 8 metres by 3 metres and the height of the tank is 5 metres. There's a tap at a point T at the bottom of the tank as shown in figure 5. At time T minutes after the tap has been opened, the depth of water in the tank is H metres. Water is flowing into the tank at a constant rate of 0.48 cubic metres per minute and the water is modelled as leaving the tank through the tap at a rate of 0.1 H cubic metres per minute. For part A, we need to show that according to the model, 1200 times dH by dt equals 24 minus 5H. As we've been told, the rate at which the water is flowing into the tank and the rate at which it's flowing out of the tank, we can calculate dV by dt, the change in volume per time, by using these values. So dV by dt is going to equal the 0.48 for the water coming in minus the 0.1H for the water coming out. We also know that the volume of water in the tank is going to be the 8 times 3 times H, which is the dimensions of the water. So we end up with V is equal to 3 times 8H, which is 24H. From this, we can work out dV by dH. Which is simple differentiation, we get 24. We're trying to work out dH by dt for our answer. Well, dH by dt is just going to equal dV by dt divided by dV by dH. We've calculated those already. So we end up with 0.48 minus 0.1H all over 24. Multiplying both sides by 24, we get 24 dH by dt equals 0.48 minus 0.1H, which is almost the answer we're needing. But let's just look at those numbers. Instead of 24, we need 1,200. So if we multiply everything through by 50, we get 1,200 dH by dt is equal to 24 minus 5H as required. Given that when the tap was opened, the depth of water in the tank was two meters, for part B, we need to show that according to the model, H equals A plus B E to the minus KT, where A, B and K are constants to be found. So our model, 1200 dH by dt is equal to 24 minus 5H. We need to get from dH by dt to H. So we're gonna do some integration with respect to T but in order to do that, we need to get all the H's onto the left-hand side with the dH by dt. So this means we're going to divide by the 24 minus 5H. This gives us 1,200 times 24 minus 5H to the minus 1. dH by dt is equal to 1. We can now integrate the entire thing with respect to T. And remember, because we've got the dH by dt on the left-hand side, the dt's will cancel out. So the left-hand side will end up as an integral with respect to H. And then on the right hand side, we've got the integral of 1 dt. On the left hand side, I've brought my 1200 out of the integral as a multiple. You could leave it inside, it's completely up to you. We now need to integrate 24 minus 5h to the minus 1. So we've got a function of h to the minus 1. So we're looking at ln. It's going to be ln of 24 minus 5h. But if you think what happens if we were to differentiate ln by the chain rule, that minus 5 from the h would come out. So we need to multiply by minus a fifth to cancel that out again. So we'll end up with the 1,200 from the beginning times by a minus fifth ln 24 minus 5h plus c, because it's an indefinite integral. And on the right hand side, the integral of one dt is just t. Now if I just switch these round so that the t is on the left and we multiply the 1,200 by the minus fifth, we end up with t is equal to minus 240 ln 24 minus 5h plus c. We can now work out c because we're told that when the tap was opened, which is t equals zero, the depth of water h was two. So putting those two values in, we get that zero is equal to minus 240 ln of 24 minus five times two, 10. All oh, that's plus c. Well, 24 minus 10 is 14. So c must equal 240 ln 14. This gives us that T is equal to minus 240 ln 24 minus 5H plus 240 ln 14. We've got 240 
as coefficients of both of them. So let's factorize that out. We get 240 or ln 14 minus ln 24 minus 5h. By the rules of logarithms, if we've got two logs subtracting, we can bring them together as a division inside the ln. So this is 240 ln 14 over 24 minus 5h. As we want to get that h out by itself, we're now going to bring the 240 over to the left. So we have t over 240 is equal to ln 14 over 24 minus 5h. I've done that because now we can take e of both sides. So we get e to the power of t over 240. And on the right hand side, the e and the ln would cancel out to just leave the 14 over 24 minus 5h. Now let's multiply both sides by that denominator. So 24 minus 5h times e to the t over 240 equals 14. Dividing both sides by that e means we have 24 minus 5h is equal to 14e to the minus t over 240. We're almost there now, we want to get this as h equals. So let's add 5h to both sides and subtract for the 14e from both sides. We get 5h is equal to 24 minus 14e to the minus t over 240. Dividing three by five gives us that h is equal to 24 over five minus 14 over five times e to the minus t over 240 which is in the form that was required. Given that the tap remains open, for part C, we need to determine according to the model whether the tank will ever become full and give a reason for our answer. So here's our model, H equals 24 over five minus 14 over five times E to the minus T over 240. As we're trying to work out if a tank will ever become full, we're trying to think of what happens as time progresses, so as t gets larger and larger and larger. So as t tends towards infinity, well, our e to the minus t over 240 must tend towards zero because its power is getting more and more negative. And if that tends towards zero, then h must just tend towards the 24 over five from its first term, which is equal to 4.8. But the height of the tank is five, and 4.8 is smaller than five, so therefore, no, the tank will never become full. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.